Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Gonzo Ewok with me Ewok. The Gonzo Ewok. <laughs> welcome to the Gonzo Ewok. Hello ladies and I'm gonna leave that in. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Gonzo Ewok channel with me Ewok. And me Gonzo and you're a twat. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Jody Space Program! Uh, episode 6? Episode 6? Time flies. Time flies. Time it really does. Rockets along. We're like still, rocket. still waiting for the new artwork, Wilson. Aye. Where are you, Wilson? There we go. Um, Gonzo Ewok. Yeah, you'll notice that uh, we'll, we've been using sort of just placeholder screenshots for uh, for the, the half, title half screen. Half the series so far. Half the series so Wilson. far. We, we do have a piece of custom artwork in the mix, but it's taking a little longer than anticipated. Um, I didn't order it until we'd already recorded the first episode, which was which was my bad. But uh, yeah. here we go. Uh, well, we said last time, um, we'd actually done some practicing last time. Have you done any practicing between last time and this time? Um, I made a duplicate of our save file, uh -huh. and I played around with a couple of things that I thought might be effective at going to the moon, mm -hmm. and also I was look th they exploded, by the way. They exploded. I, was, I was looking at something brand new using uh, using larger parts, just based on the existing tech that we we'll have. I'm just going to skip a couple of days, see if we get some new contracts. Right. Um, and I also, um, you'll have noticed in our last video, you might have seen it, um, Kirby had put up a thing saying at some point he wants to try a rescue mission. Yeah, I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking that that might be an option option tonight, uh, today. Tonight. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, well, I'd be up for bringing Penny back. I was concerned about the, the cash that we had, but actually our cash isn't that bad. Uh -huh. I thought we only had about 200 after the last one. Why have we got Explore Juno? I was hoping we are going to have an Explore Minmus mission. We don't already have that, do we? Oh, Flyby Minmus. Yeah. We've got Flyby Minmus, but not an Explore Minmus. But that's worth Science data from Space Around Curve. Yeah, we'll get that as we do the next mission. I've been doing some practicing as well. Nice. It's not, it's not nice. Handy. Um, I duplicated the save file to see if I could do some practice and come up with some ship designs. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last week, I've bankrupted the space program twice and achieved nothing. Right. So I'm here without any new designs to take because they haven't gone well. Um, Even trying slight refinements to the ship that we already have seemed to fall a bit. I tried that to begin with and it all went horribly wrong. I killed every single Kerbin, uh, Kerbal in the space program. They were all dead. And mm -hmm. I'd spent all the cash and I couldn't hire any more. So I was freaked. So then I tried designing something brand new from scratch. Um, what I'm thinking though is we know that this is probably quite a good design, even though it's pricey, to do a rescue with. Yeah, um, it is, and you're thinking along the same lines as me. What I think might be an option. Yeah, in line, in line all the way, that's it, man. Is let's do that. And I want to be a little bit ambitious, and I want to call this episode, well, just in case anyone is unaware, we have a Kerbal stranded in space, and her name is... Penny Crayon. Penny Crayon. It's not actually Penny Crayon, it but is it's, Penny Crayon. it's close enough. Oh, we're slightly, we're slightly over the weight limit for the launch pad. Shall we see how much it's going to cost to... Well, well what, what, what are you saying? Like, uh, is this just a rescue mission? No, this episode is going to be called Penny Crayon Goes to Minmus. <laughs> Shit. I want us to attempt, in a single mission, to pick up, cre pick up Penny... From orbit, right, and then attempt to do that flyby of Minmus in the same mission. Ladies and gentlemen, if only you could see my reaction. He does have face palm, quite literally, quite literally. Why you do this? Um, I think that's we'll call it the rescue explorer because it's a two <clears> for one. <throat> Hell, if we get up, to, if we get up to Penny and we don't have enough fuel left, we'll just come back down. It's not a big deal, right? Um, yeah, it's um, fine. That, that it's going to be difficult bringing that back because of the the length of it. Aye. aye. Um, but hey ho, uh, we're going to need to upgrade the launch pad. Who's, who's even in it? You haven't even checked to see who's flying the thing. Nobody's in it yet. We need to upgrade oh, the launch. Christ. We need to upgrade the launch pad because it's too heavy. Um, that's going to cost us two hundred eighty-two thousand to get the launch pad up to level three. That's half our cash. It's a third of our cash. Uh, just about a third of our cash. All right. So we've now got. The nice launch pad. We've now got the nice, lovely launch pad. Um, um, I'll tell you what. Just for fun. Are we actually going to try and land on Minmus? No, we're just going to fly by. Well, we don't need legs then, do we? We don't need legs. So there's girders and legs on this. We can get rid of them. So that'll drop the weight off a little bit. Um, I've took the batteries out there because we've got new batteries. Um, we've got the lovely circular ones. I think they'll fit lovely in there. Um, how, that, much, that how much? How clicked on? How much do they hold? Uh, they hold 200, uh, those ones hold 100. You could put another one on top of it. Aye. There you go, that's lovely, isn't it? Doesn't that look nice? I love them servers, bits. 
Um, um, also, I recall we were having problems with this opening, so I'm thinking maybe if we move it, we could stick it up there. Uh, yeah, be all right. a bit further up the shaft. A little bit further up the shaft. Um, and I think that's all the tweaks I want to do with it. How, how far did, well, we've got this down onto the moon, in a fashion. In, in a sense, yeah, we've got it onto the moon. We're done. We've got a poodle engine, is that right? There's a poodle engine under the, the landing stage? That's a poodle engine, yeah. And then we've got the big engine on the bottom. That's uh, not the mainsail, which one? Is it the skipper? Ah, oh, you've got the skipper. I don't think yeah. we've unlocked the mainsail yet, so we've got the skipper few legs. You know, I'm thinking at some point there needs to be a radical redesign of this. I've been watching some of Scott Manley's videos. Um, I, I agree. I think really what we need to do is we need to get rid of this reliance on the solid fuels. Because my understanding of flight characteristics in the early atmosphere, the lower stages of the atmosphere, these things give you a big bang and a big push, but that's not particularly efficient. Maybe if we could get some liquid fuels on the outside of this, yeah, and with an asparagus, asparagus stage and style, yeah, uh, we've we've tanks. unlocked the the external fuel duct, so we could do that. Uh, before we go any any further in like really upgrading our ship designs, though, I want us to get a bit more science and remember how much science we got from the Moon flyby. If we can replicate that on Minmus, we'll have a lot of spend. Um, we're going to need mono propellant. Aye. If we're ever going to have a successful landing, I need that mono propellant for Aye, the fine right. control when we're coming down, so I'm not reliant 100% on the huge thrusters. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. I mean, realistically, in this stage of a space program, we should be really looking at firing probes on unmanned expeditions and flybys. Is what we should be trying instead. <laughs> yeah, if firing if, our if, if personnel. Anything, we're going too far, too fast, which is is generally the way we do it. It's the Geordie way. Um, let's uh, stick some of them on just to assist in the actual launch stage. That makes sense. Um, just out of interest, how much weight have we added by adding this pod? 1.03. So really... A, a fair chunk, but not ridiculous. Yeah, it's not ridiculous. It's the equivalent of... Uh, that's the equivalent of them batteries, really. Yeah, yeah. So really, this should handle and fly quite similarly to the, the last time we, we flew a similar rocket. Aye, but in theory means nothing, does it? Uh, well, you're, you're very correct. I'm tempted to... Uh, some parachutes on there just in case just as an aside as well Kirby I hope you realize that there's no banging or clattering going on in the uh, last video and um, you did pick up I was putting my electronic cigarette down fairly um, enthusiastically next to the microphone um, and my coffee cup I'm not doing either of those things at the minute you are one of our three regular fans so we do kind of have to pan yeah, the ear every week we're piss Kirby off we're finished basically <laughs> uh, who we're gonna fly um, how about you know, we'll make a Valentino up to level 2 if we do a Minimus flyby. Or we'll make Killer. Or we'll make Killer. Go on, Valentina. Go on, Valentina. Or should we take Jeb? Valentina. Jeb we... hasn't Jeb hasn't really much, done much yet. Should we take Jeb? And um, who we got up there? Penny Creon. Penny Creon's a pilot, but we need a pilot to get up there. Aye. Um, right, take a pick. Jeb or Valentina? I think, no, I think sisters should stick together. Sisters should stick together. Send Valentina. Send a woman. Rescue a woman. Okay, quickly check the stage and just before we go. So we've got the solid fuels and the uh, girder pinging bobs. Yeah. Then we they detach the solid rockets at the same time we fire the mains, uh, the skipper. They detach in a way that doesn't destroy the rocket, correct? Well, they didn't blow it up last time. <clears throat> I believe they like sort of ground along the side of it a little bit, but didn't do any major damage. That's what you like to hear. And then... Little bit... Yep. Yep. And then that's the land and stage, yeah. and finally the parachutes. Parachute. Okay. Uh, let's go, I guess. Nice. God, it feels like there was no build up the ladder. Oh, actually, no. Let's be clever about it. We'll leave that. Let's wait until Penny is on. Are oh, you genius? Yeah, let's wait till Penny is near the top of the, the space center. Where is this bloody space center? We need a flag on the space center. It's, it's here, isn't it? Is that right? Are you sure? No. Keep looking. Um, I think we might be in the dark. No, no, why not? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Other side of this bit. Other side again. Where, where oh, are we? Oh, we're there. We're there. Yeah, that's, that's right. Us. That's us. Aye. So we just want to skip forward a bit until Penny's maybe around about here. You reckon? And then get the launch up. We are turning. The, the planet is turning. She's coming around. The planet is turning. It does do that. Yeah. It's um, quite important. That. Uh -huh. I was reading in me, uh, me Junior Osborne Book of Science, <laughs> which I used to do all research for our space, uh, space program. You know, when I was about 16 years old, 
after we done all the sex ed classes and all of that stuff, and you know, I was a young man, my mother gave me the Usborne Guide to Growing Up. <laughs> it was uh, a bit uh, of a cop out, really, Mum. I, Why didn't you give me the talk? Uh, yeah, I, I here's, the, here's a book. I, I had the talk. I can't imagine anything more awkward. No, it was, it was fine. Well, you know what my mum and dad are like. I don't know what so, mum and dad are like. My mum and dad are exhibies, so it was fine. Oh, let's. Uh, could you, could you drop the volume for me a little bit, just so we're not drowning things out? I'm very conscious of. I'd rather have it too quiet than too loud. I uh, cranked the volume a little bit because I was uh, playing some games, which I'm sure we'll be talking about in the next Gonzo We Walk podcast. In the next Gonzo We Walk podcast, which we will be recording today, although, to be honest, it may even go live before this episode. So, how's that uh, continuity? Yeah. We, need, we need a continuity guy in. <laughs> Would you be interested in the role of Gonzo Ewok continuity expert? Send a CV to well, Gonzo Ewok at gmail.com. Yeah, we've got an email address. We do have an email don't address. Think, yeah, don't think anyone's ever emailed us, but we needed an email address to set up the YouTube channel. Aye. Um, no, I, I was going to say, I think um, George R. R. Martin has a continuity team, some of his super fans. I thought you were about to say George R. R. Martin had emailed us. No. Really love the show, guys. Well, I mean, he has, he has done that. I'll, Hey, separation, that was well, nice. well, we've got a very similar ethos to George R. R. Martin in the Game of Thrones series in that we like to kill off our main characters yeah, nobody knows. with no notice. Nobody knows who's going to survive or why. <laughs> um, this is actually handling quite nice by the looks of it. Mm. It's ticking its way along. Actually, um, losing losing I, speed rapidly. It's okay to lose some speed because I want to, I want to drop that. We really should be burning at the 90 by now. Um, I'm used to flying the test ships that I've been trying out that have been a lot heavier and a lot shitter. Uh, for lack of a better, more scientific explanation. Scientific we, don't for me. Too, we don't want to go too fast. Uh, not until we hit maybe the 25,000 mark and then I'll open it up. Yeah, that's, that's quite good. Look, it's, it's, it's holding. It's not. It's dropping like a stone. I'm still not very good at the uh, optimal ascents since the move into full aerodynamics no, I, models. I, I really, really struggle. can't get the hang of it. I tend to find the the this uh, happens where yeah the, 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 the who grade the pro grade that's what you call it the prolapse keeps on uh, keeps on spilling out further than it should. Yeah, well, that's never good. Leaky, <laughs> leaky prolapse. A leaky prolapse. Yeah, I suppose that's the definition of a prolapse, isn't it? Leaking out further than it should. Yeah. You've got normal apps, and then you've got prolapse. Is that, is that what it's called? And if you get when 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 you're not hanging out of yourself, it's right just now, a, a normal app. Right now, we are both normal apps. At least I hope so. But uh, and if you end up um, retro apps, it means everything's been sucked in too far, <laughs> which is probably even worse. Uh, yeah, I imagine that could you make things turn difficult. yourself inside out from the anus. Welcome to the Gonzo Ewok channel. Mature discussion since 2014. Yeah, we've been going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, year and a half, yeah. Aye. Jesus. Another thing worth mentioning, we've we'll probably have already talked about in the podcast. Look what I'm wearing. Yes, Gonzo is rocking a Gonzo Ewok t shirt and he didn't even buy me one. They're expensive, these things, you know. <laughs> it's good quality cotton. I will be buying my Gonzo Ewok t shirt in time for the Game On Len, which we're going to at Aye. the back end of June. Well, actually, yeah, mid June. Um, celebrity appearance. June 12th, actually, Aye. in fact. Celebrity appearance. Of course, Jesus it is. Day. I expect to be treated like royalty. Despite the fact that, you know, several of the people there work for the, the, the Game Grid website and the Game On magazine and so are probably. More professional than we are in that we don't make a single penny. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. We've made several US cents. We've, we've made a, a fortune. We must really. be in at least double figures in terms of cents. If we survive, I don't think we've got a dollar yet in the last year. If we survive to be 500,000, interest on those cents will probably be worth about a tenner. Well, how do you like them apples? Well, I'm just holding out for that, dear Gonzo. But let's be honest, we don't do this for cash. Otherwise, we'd have friggin' mid rolls. And all sorts of shit popping up on the screen as we speak. Well, we had uh, we did have adverts on the early videos, which is where those few cents came from. But the only reason I put those adverts on the early videos is I was told that it helps increase your searchability. Yeah, we mentioned that before, but I think you still need to be quite big anyway. Yeah, you need to have some people. <laughs> yeah, like just because you've slapped a couple of adverts on doesn't really help out in the grand scheme of things if only four people are watching. It probably certainly doesn't help that we don't have the words Kerbal Space Program in the title of our videos. <laughs> But hey ho, we've we picked our name and we are sticking to it. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. She's, she's escaping. She is escaping. Don't worry, we'll catch her up. How are we doing? Uh, fuel minuscule, but you know the Wuss engine. Are we going to be able to get a decent orbit with the Wuss engine? Oh, we'll get an orbit with well, it. We did. We did last time. Not, um, yeah, yeah. Not the, not the Wuss engine, but the the 
poodle. Bear in mind that we only need a flyby of Minmus as well. We don't necessarily have to actually get into the orbit of it. Oh, I think Minmus is quite a bit of a distance out, and we're going to have to do an inclination change as well. This is true, but it still takes less Delta V to get to Minmus and back than it does know, to get to the Mun and I back. Know. I just think I don't want to see Valentina and Penny be stuck in a ridiculous orbit halfway to Minmus. That's my concern. No, I'm probably going to start my burn now, if only because we're going to run out of liquid yeah, fuel. Yeah, so I need take to, probably a I need and to half. compensate for the, the smaller engine. We will lose a lot of weight when we lose these uh, these huge fuel tanks. Did you say it was Z to open the throttle all the way instantly? Um, I think so, I. Yeah, that was something I, I didn't know that you, that you put me on. Aye. Yeah, that's really handy. I can't believe I didn't know that after like well, hours worth of Well, it's because I, I learnt this. In real life, rockets, even the liquid fuels, don't have a throttle. They're either on or they're off. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. There you go. Um, I think there's there's something that the Russian space program are developing, which is like a throttleable rocket. Um, and there has been some in history that have done that, but it's not the done thing. Apparently, okay. a rocket's either burning or it's not. Or it's not burning. So, That's you know, really when I was saying, like, oh, all the mechanics, all the stuff that I've been reading has been saying, like, you burn and it's you burn at this amount of fuel and it's always saying top whack. Mm -hmm. It's because they kind of throttle them back, so you burn at full whack or you don't burn. That's quite interesting. Aye, aye, I thought so. That's yeah. that's how I treat motoring. <laughs> that's why I crashed my car the other day. Yeah, that didn't last long. Well, I've been driving exactly two weeks when I reversed it into a wall. That's all right. If you remember, um, I reversed um, into a barrier. I do remember. I was in the car at the time. It was my first week. Uh, my first. Damn! I can no longer say I've been in two car accidents in my life, and they both involved Gonzo. I can't say that anymore. I used to be able to say that. Yeah, but I, you were the passenger in another car when you hit us. Um, the first time. No, the second time. The second time. You, yeah. You were a passenger in a mutual friend's car, and which, we went and we went into the which back of you. then smashed as one, yeah. which wasn't your fault. No, what? I'll give you that one. No, of course it wasn't my fault. I'd stopped at a red light. The light went red, so I stopped, and our mate didn't, and just <laughs> rear-ended us at to, some speed. To be fair, he did stop. He stopped when he went into the back of your car. Yeah. Um, first time... Um, um, I'm going to have accidentally uh, knocked the sight off us, so I'm going to go back. Continue telling the car crash Yeah, story. well, the, the, the first time, um, you were working at a place and had been working there for a couple of years at that point, I think, probably two or three years. And then I went to work there and I was there for a couple of years. But you were it was my first week in the job. I'd been there about four days and then we lived nearby, so, you know, we were driving in, going home together. And um, we'd finished work for the day, we hopped into my car and then I reversed into a crash barrier at about 30 mile an hour. Um got laughed at because there was people in the smoking shed. That was a bit embarrassing. But the basically the upshot of it was it ended up that I ended up working that first month for free because my paycheck paid for... Just about cover the damage to your car. Yeah, because it was only like... I think I worked like two weeks before payday. So basically those two weeks worth of wages went on fixing the car. Um, and I, I just got a separation of zero there. And I didn't believe it, so I moved it away. But I did actually get a separation of zero. I thought it must have been an error. Um, that's kind of crazy. That's going to be a minuscule burn as well. Yeah, not be much. Two kilometres. Uh, 95 delta V. That's not much at all. And where's it going to put the app and Perry app? Oh, we're going to go slightly under, but that's right because um, Penny's slightly under, I believe. Yeah, that is correct. But at 69.732, we're not going to get pulled back into the atmosphere. No, the music will stop, but I don't even think that would have any kind of great bearing on my speed. So th this is going to be... A really easy pickup. In theory, that gets for two kilometres away. Now it's been a while since you've done this. It um, is. I've never done this, so I can't really give you much help. But um, yeah, it'll be good if we can pick up uh, Penny. But I think there's a potential that we still might have enough fuel. We'll work it out afterwards, but we've got to get her first. Oh, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any problem completing this mission, considering this will be the only successful mission I've had in the last week. Did everything's went to went to crap? Did our contract say something about science data for um, Kerbin? It did indeed. Um, let me get the let me get the the thing. The thing? the thing, the intercept. Let me get the intercept, and then we'll we'll get the science. But well remembered. I've completely forgotten about that. Aye, that'll get worth a few grand. Be worth doing. Aye, that's all right. Aye, I told you it was all right. Bernie, 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 and Bernie, Bernie. Stop. Oof, that was uh, quite uh, quite good. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Uh, so yeah, we've got 0.8. Yeah, we're 800 meters away. Nice. 
800 metres away. That's absolutely fantastic. So we're hugging the inside lane if you look at the two lines. What I'll do is I'll get down to the late side for when we do our science. What's that? With the blue, blue line? What does that blue line mean? Look, that blue line's gone through the planet. That's not right. Is that us? Um. Uh, yes. Oh. We're going to hit the sodden planet. Well spotted. You passed the test. Useless. So you've you've put where I've put I've put us on collision course. Yes. Right. Right. Un this needs unfuck it. Unfuck it, unfuck yes. it immediately. Unfuck it. <laughs> okay. This is going to be the first successful mission I've done all week. <laughs> Bosh! Straight into the planet. Face first. How do you like them apples? I don't. I'm dead. Get up. Well, yeah. We, we should have really um, checked that. We should have checked that, Gonzo. That's, sure. that's my bad. Um, I misread. I think I was reading uh, Penny's apoapsis and periapsis. We were too busy looking at the trees that we didn't see the woods in front of us. So we're going to have to burn outwards in order to get that intercept. And that's going to take a while going that way. Let's see what we've got here. Because this isn't too far away. Um, got a slight inclination change. Why is it moving up? Ah, we're still, we're still going to push that out a bit. This is really if we're fuel coming inefficient. In at, if we're coming in at 60 mine, that is going to affect well, That's why the numbers are changing. That'll do. Now everything's bleeping like some sort of weird disco. And it's still coming in. Are we in the atmosphere? Probably slightly. Not enough to be worried about. Um, 31 kilometers. That's pretty messy. 12, 12. 9, 8. That oh no, that's not good because that's going to put us through the damn planet again. Everything's putting us through the planet. How? 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 I'm having trouble selecting the right line. Right, I'm going to add a maneuver there and we want to burn pro. Like burning pro grades not getting us anywhere, is it? No, and that's that's not great. Right, refresh how, oneself. How do we get those two bits together without crashing into the planet? Let's decide where we're going to do the intercept. Where's the best place to intercept? I mean, probably here, because it looks like we're crossing the path around about here, doesn't right. it? So if we want to add a manoeuvre there and the burn prograde. So that, so that's about a twenty odd second burn. A twenty second burn. Penny's too close to the damn planet. It's all her fault. Ten kilometers. Can we do any fine tuning on that? There's always fine tuning. Oop. And then there's breaking a walnut with a sledgehammer. Now is that because we've got a slightly different inclination? Is that what's happening there? We're probably a little bit further out. But for 10 kilometres... I mean, that's... 10 kilometres is still a bit of a hike. It's a bit of a hike. But let's just get a bit closer. Yeah, it's that, look, it's the, the changing inclinations what's doing it. It's because we're not actually touching. I need to get a bit closer to see it a bit better. See yeah. if there is a point where we touch. Um, I don't think there is on this side. I think we're a little bit too far out. What we really should do is match the apoapsis and periapsis. Aye. Um, we'll sort of cross over about there, yeah. So let's see if we can do a better job here. Whoosh. No. Not moving it at all. That, uh, yeah, that puts us on an escape. Um, looking at that, because we've got the inside lane, it means we would want to go slower. We can't go slower because going slower means it's planet means hitting the planet. Right, yeah. that, there we go. Six point four. It's, it's flashy as hell. Five hundred and seventy-eight or five point seven, eight point six, or five hundred and something. I don't know what's happening. It's just wigging out a bit. Right. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna go for that. I think it's because one of us is catching the atmosphere. 
and this is like hair trigger style. You That's... know, Penny could probably get down if she got out and pushed. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a, a Gonzo You Want Kerbal video without us kind of cocking it up. Uh, okay, let's cancel that. What's particularly impressive now is we're a little bit closer. we spotted what was wrong, I were going to go back into the planet, and we managed to spot that before we did the manoeuvre and killed Valentina, bless her. This is true. I mean, you've got to look at the pros. That's I, that's somewhat sort of progress. We were going to cock up, and we realised we were going to cock up. Bonus points! Right. Here we go. You 25 ready? Twenty-five second. Twenty-five seconds. Three hundred and forty-three delta V. I'm gonna get them at like twelve and a half seconds. Right. And that means it's probably gonna take another twenty-five seconds to cancel the relative velocity when we get to the other side. Otherwise, we're gonna shoot past that. Aye. I mean, I have no idea how the fuel situation's looking. We'll check on that once I've completed this manoeuvre. Aye. I think it should be alright, I think. I mean, Poodle Engine. There's a fair old stock of fuel there. Cool. Alright. Right, what's... Ooh. Oh, that's alright. I think that's as close as we're getting. Yeah, yeah. that's as close as we're getting. Six in bad. Uh, let's quickly nip around to the light side. And then we'll do that science before we forget about it again. Yeah. Like we did on the last rotation round. Now, where's Minmus? Oh, didn't get ahead of yourself. See, Minmus is over there. <sighs> Worry about picking up Penny, and then we'll count our chickens. That's still a bit of fuel, and this is a quite efficient rocket. But... Let's transmit this crew report. Um, Ringo pointed out something quite good as well. Yes, he said you could store them by um, sort of leaving them, taking it as an experiment and bringing it back, which uh, is really handy. What um, what Scott Manley calls the Kerbal Dance, as you get out and collect your experiments and pile them back in. Well, we've got 19,000 for that, so we've recouped something. Well, um, why isn't our electric charge going up? Um, uh, is it because we need to be facing we need to face the sun? The sun. No, we're definitely facing the sun there. There, it's starting to come back. If you stop moving. It's using quite a bit when we turn, but there it should be starting to pick back up, I think. I yeah, I've got everything just... turned off, but yeah, we definitely need better solar panels, don't we? Yeah, something that's uh, got a bit more. I like. I just like the deployables. It makes it look more like spacey things than these statics. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm just getting an estimate, so it's probably going to take about 17 seconds in order to cancel that. Uh, so, want to get the closest approach and then cancel it. So, we'll go up there. There we are, coming up. She's on the inside track. Hello, Penny. Remember me? Okay. Where is she? Um, she's set a target, isn't she? Yes, uh, she's set yeah, a target. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Pen. Intercept in 29 seconds. Oh, no, we want to burn retrograde, don't we? Yeah. Is yeah. that retrograde? Um, it's hard to bloody tell. I think that was retrograde, but let's just spin it. Yes, it was. 360, no scope. Ah, okay, we're going around again. <laughs> you, might, you might want to put your SAS on for this. Just, you know, it, it stops the crazy rolling. We're going to afford a little bit because we're rapidly running out of time. Whoosh! That was a 720, never mind the 360. Where's Penny? Um, Penny! One, one thing at a time. Penny! Hello! Let's get our relative down as close to zero as possible and then we'll find her. Right, it's uh, coming off at quite an alarming rate. 30, it's still quite a bit. You just jiggle them buttons. Right. Well, our relative velocity is 6 metres a second, Still. 5, 4, 3, 2, less than 1 metre a second, oh sorry, less than 5, less than 1, okay, where's Penny? It's increasing steadily. And it will do. She's there. Uh... Can we see it anywhere? 
which is still quite a bit of a distance away, I think. What? what, what? 5.7, 5.6. Go, Penny. It's oh, your birthday. Christ. Where's it gone? Hang on, that isn't... Right, um, it's the other way. The other way. It's over there. Um, where's my... Where's my EVA icon for the, the bloody guy? That's Valentina. You want to use your square brackets? Yeah, it's not working. Oh, well, this isn't good. And we're picking up speed. In uh, comparison. Right. I think it's up. There it's. Right. God save you, Penny. Because it looks as though you are... Is going to be touch and go. Right. There we go. The rockets are firing. We want to keep a close eye on the fuel here. Yes, you're right, we do. Because we've nearly used 20% already. And we're going to need whatever you use to slow ourselves back down in time for her to get anywhere near it. You're right. I think this is quite a bit of a distance, mind for... Um, it's coming down already, mate. Look. We've it, already covered a fifth of it. It is. It is. But we're using quite a bit of fuel. We can't see how fast she's gone, can we? No. That's a shame. Also, we're, we're coming at an awkward angle because we're going sort of up. Aye. It's kind of like what we need is a speedometer fitted onto their suits. That would be handy. Yeah. Also, the ability to rotate the camera on the axis, <laughs> which um, you can't do, unfortunately. That's a shame. But we're getting there, look. Three. You just be careful with that, uh, that fuel, because I didn't want to come wootling by it. Wootling, that's a good one. <laughs> wootling. wootling. I, lo I love the arm movement you, you did there. don't want to go wootling straight past the ship, <laughs> hurtling off into deep space. This is a crazy manoeuvre. It, it, it is a crazy We manoeuvre. haven't even touched down successfully on the moon, and we're doing five kilometre spacewalks. We're doing space half marathons. Mental. To be honest, I probably could have got the craft a lot closer than this. But without that fine tuner of the RCS, I'm a bit nervous about just, you know, pointing the thrusters at it and shooting. Right, let's get an idea. Now we're seeing the numbers. She is getting... Are you still accelerating towards it? Just let the numbers do the magic. Because we're going to have to start slowing down. Do you know which buttons you need to press to slow her down? Yes, I've slowed down quite a bit already. Cool. All right, so just use 20% of the fuel... Tickling past that. Getting quite close. Hey, this is not going too bad. So, right. I kill off the, sort of, the vertical, the upness. She's getting further away. Ah, it's just the fine tuning, buddy. All right. Trust okay. in Ewok. 30% of fuel used. Be in sight distance soon, 200 metres away. I'll start to see that popping up. And once let's, I can actually get a proper visual on it, I'll be able to judge it a lot better. Let's Well, use the numbers. The numbers are our friends, and we certainly don't want to see it pop up too quickly. What we don't want to do is face plant into it. Yeah. That'd be even worse than shooting past it. Yeah. I thought we would have been able to see it by now. It must be in a particularly dark bit of space. Um, space is pretty much mostly dark, I don't to, to be honest I, I with you. I thought this distance we might have been able to see We're on the dark side, you see. The uh, sun's behind us, or behind Kerbal, uh, Kerbin, rather. All right, coming closer. It's about thirty-five percent used nearly. Still doing all right. Sixty, fifty, forty, thirty. Oh, there it is! Oh shit! That did loom up very really quickly, didn't it? <laughs> it certainly did. Right now, it's not funny. On, let's find the door and get in. She'll be freezing. Actually, uh, heat drains away very slowly in space. Well, I'm sure that's a, of great comfort to her. But just get her in. Get her in the seat. Go on, Penny. Go on, we've got you, girl. Go on. Other way. Right. She's close. I wish the ship was, like, the other way around. I don't even know where the, the ladder that? is on this bit. Yeah, put the lights on. Oh. Forgot to suit had lights. Where's the door? Whoa, whoa, with the fuel. The f Think of the fuel. Um, There's a way of getting into this thing, right? 
Can you right click and board? Hang on. No. Uh, no, I, I didn't want that walk in. Now Penny's just floating in space. Look, well, find her, sharpish. Right. Where the rescue thing? I'm, I'm just thinking. Where's it stop, going? Stop going away from me! Um. Right, so it is the inline cockpit that's empty. Yes. Penny. Hello, Pen. How are you doing? You want to get on board? Just fine. I just <laughs> turned the ship around because <laughs> it's impossible to turn the Kerbal around. That way I can approach it from a more sensible angle. Right. I, I can't see any ladders no, for I can't, grab onto. I can't either. Um, it's very disconcerting. I should be able to get in. Press F when she's near it. Get in! Oh, I'm not happy with this. <gasps> Grab. Yay! Oh, thank, thank God, God for high that. High five, high five. That was uh, stressful. Ah, you're looking a bit, bit touch and go. Now, I'll be no. I'll be honest. After that, we need to get them back home. Don't be so soft. How much fuel have we got? Because we've just burnt a fuckload. Plenty. Um, I don't like this plenty talk. We've just saved Penny. We're not now doubling our lost Kerbals in space. I'm not having Penny and Valentina being lost halfway to Minmus. Be good name for a song, that. Lost halfway to Minmus. Aye. Lost halfway to Minmus. Ah. Motherfucker. No, that, that's that's just rude. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's walking in Memphis. We do something along the lines of that. I was walking on Minmus. I was walking on Minmus. We'll try and remember that for when I actually managed to put boots on the ground. Why am I eating chewing gum? We're recording. How unprofessional is that? It's gonna just start chewing and slobbering on the mic. All right. Um, that's a lot of burn. What? Not applicable. <laughs> Well, I was just looking at the, the Delta V numbers. That was a lot of numbers. Can you at least show us how much fuel we've got? Yes. I can do that. Under half a tank. Oh, but you appear to be doing it anyway. All right. Look, I'm just correcting the ascending node. We're going to for, for a min-miss insertion. For, for a min-miss insertion. We can consider what we're going to do after I've done that. Well, that was quite a bit of the fuel used there. For that little escapade. Right. Okay, that's going to um, have to be close enough. That's my catchphrase. Close enough. <laughs> that'll do. That'll, that'll, do. <laughs> that'll do. That's what we'll get put on your shirt. That'll do. What have, you got, what have you got on your shirt? Mine says, put the legs out. Put the legs out. Put, put the legs out. Gonzo, 2014. Yours will say, that'll do. Ewok, 2014. That'll do. 46 seconds. Actually, then. it's a very good point. If anybody... I was going to say to people, well, you're going to have to order your shirt before this video goes live if you want to get it in time for the LAN. I will, yeah. So I was going to say we should have put that out to um, out of the audience. Sorry, audience. We didn't mean to forget about you. I was actually going to do that on my Facebook page and say this is what mine says. What should we put on yours? Give away, um, you know, a good catchphrase of Ewoks or an oft-repeated saying. But actually, I think that's Th it. That'll do. That'll do. That's, that's the fatal words that have doomed us many uh, times. That'll do. I mean, if I could get an encounter that then brings us back into Kerbin, that would be the ideal. 46 second burn with a poodle engine and 522 units of fuel ain't gonna happen. Of course it will. We're going no for it. Way. We're going for it. We're gonna do a flyby of Minmus. Penny Crayon goes to Minmus is the name of this episode, and I'm gonna make it happen. Um. What did the contract say? We just need a flyby. Just a flyby. We don't have to get into an orbit. We just have to zip past it and then come back home. What does it count a flyby as? Um, high in orbit over. Oh, not high in orbit over, but a high over. Right. So a high over encounter will do. We might nicely. get some good signs here as well. We'll not get the best signs because we'll not get the orbits. So we'll not be able to spam mm. like we did before, but it'll do the job. It's still better than no science if we pull it off. Well, you, keep, you keep your eye on the fuel and tell me if we need to abort. Because if we need to abort, it's only going to take a couple of seconds worth of burn I to be able to get back. back. I see. Aye. Um, right. All right. So how how much do we reckon is the cut off point? Like say twenty units of fuel. 
50 units of fuel? 30. 30. All right. 30 is the cutoff. I reckon we'll be fine. Right. If we hit 30 units of fuel and I haven't got it, I'm just going to use my left palm and extend it into your head. Okay. That, that's the, the signal. signal. That's the signal. That's the signal to stop. Just that, that wet plap will be my palm on the side of your head, meaning don't do it anymore. Okay. That's going to happen very, very fucking quickly looking at that fuel. Yeah, it might do, might this. I'll just position the hand. Just hold the hand there. All right. No, it's going to be fine. It's it's going to be fine, 43. It's going down at less than 10 fuel a second. It is. Somehow, the fuel is now less than it was, which is odd. It always like, is less than it was when no, you're no, burning. No, I mean, like, it seems to be dripping off slower than it was. Have you reduced the throttle? No, we're at... Oh, yeah, I had reduced the throttle. Ah, now, now, yeah, now, now it's speeding now up. Now it's doing it. Now that's the daddy. All right. All right. Down to less than 300. That's fine. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Okay, what is going on there? <laughs> We're going to whoosh out, whoosh back round, and then twang off somewhere. We've got a min miss count that. Um, we're actually coming back. <laughs> Lovely. Right, I, I don't like that. Yeah, we'll sort that out when we get the other side. All right. Don't you worry about it. Penny Crayon goes to Min Miss. Well, people, will, like, people will have seen the uh, the title for this video, and if they've watched the previous ones, they'll be like, what the fuck? Penny, 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 Penny's Penny lost Crayon's in space. Bye. Bye, man. Eyes on the prize. Where's... where's Gold well, mini. We'll probably not see Min Miss yet because I stopped a fair bit out. We're still uh, four days away from the encounter. So let's move. Let's move here. Alright. Whee. Bye, planet. No, you, you, Bye, Moon. Is that Min Miss? Yeah, that is Min Miss. Min -miss. Hello, Min Miss. Right. Long time no see, you little icy minty bastard. We're definitely not going to smash into Min Miss. So let's Should, walk to get sure? the encounter. Because it looks as though like the, the line. Minmus is going to rocket past our face. But Minmus is actually there. Yeah, but it's going to rocket past our face as we're moving in that direction. Look, wait until... You see? It's All fine. Right. Okay. So we're going to ping off in this direction. So... Wait and see... What's, what's our actual contract, incidentally? Oh, oh, there we go. We've completed it. Hey! We're in the, we're in the positive. Any, Any closer, closer and the B paperwork. Work. Right, so how much fuel do we have left? Um, 200. And 42. It's enough to get home. It's not to do what you're about to try and do. No way. That's a nine second burn. Aye, but then it's the burn that we've got to consider to get back home. We're not leaving people stuck around Minmus. So stupid this. <laughs> right. Let's think about our science. Have you ever heard the term mission creep? I, I have. You, you're trained in project management. I am. Mission creep. Feature creep. Feature creep. These are never said as like, well, things were going all right until we discovered mission creep and then things got brilliantly, brilliantly more successful. People never say that. They always why, go... Why, why won't the electricity go away? They always... Oh, it's because you've got a tick in your resources. Oh, oh that's really cool. I, I, again, I didn't know you could do that. Me either, until you did it. Um, but yeah, people never say things were going alright until we did mission creep and then they got much better. Usually when people are trying to explain why they shouldn't lose their job, they say the problem was mission creep or feature creep. That's why things went tits up, is what the tend to say. Hush, Gonzo, hush. So it's went from let's get Penny, let's bring her home, to let's send her further than any Kerbal's ever been before. <laughs> and then let's put her in orbit around something that we've never been to before. But if we get in orbit, that's just amazing. Look, if this if this all goes wrong, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> if, if it all goes wrong, something will happen. Prolapse will happen. Let's get closer. You see, I mean, it says nine seconds, but I think it's being snidey. I don't think it means that. No, you it's, think it's being sneaky? We're being trolled. It doesn't mean nine seconds in the slightest. You're going to kick in your engines and it's going to go, oh, you meant nine seconds, I meant nine minutes. This is exactly what it's going to do. Um, and us trying to get home from this mission, from Minmus. You're always the, the sceptical one. You're always the one, the unconfident. Have you any idea how fast we're going to be going to try and get back to Kerbin? That's insanely fast with a top heavy rocket. Keep an eye on the fuel. Well, instantly I'm thinking, what fuel? Alright. 
That's that, no, that's that's close enough. But we're still in orbit high over Minmus. That means that means we don't get the sexy uh, crew reports. We don't get anything if the, they explode. We will get some crew reports. Penny's going to do the EVA report. Oh, I don't like this. So we'll keep that data. That's um, nice. Yep, yeah, I'm I'm up for that science. We've got to get it home. Uh, materials bay. Um, I'm, I'll not go any closer. I think we've done enough. Yeah. So we'll get the materials bay report. We've got goo pods and all sorts of gubbins in there. We do. We've already used one of the goo pods. We'll use the other one. No, have we used one? I thought we just did a crew report. Um, no, I did a crew report. Um, I know I've already done a, a goo report high over Minmus, but let's just get another one because we've got nothing else to get. Yeah, look, um, I've used the other one. Oh, all right, I see it. Hi. Um, I believe we've also got a temperature report high over Minmus, so we'll get nothing more. Nothing, nothing more from that. Yeah, we're pretty much done. Um, have we got a, a temperature? Did you take one? I must, I have, just, I must have just zoned you must out. Have, you must have zoned out. Let's take another one, just in case. Log temperature, 20 science. Um, that gave a full science there. Um, because I didn't transmit it. You always get full science from that. Ah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to have a crew report from there. Uh, they can both bring a crew report home. Hmm. Even though it's not going to give us any extra signs. But it makes them both feel useful. Yeah, they both want to get out and have a look. Equal ops. Right, so, uh, so in order to get back to Kerbin, I want to burn there. I know it feels counterintuitive, but that is the way you do it. Clearly not. That Clearly is, I'm wrong. Yeah, there's no way we've got the fuel for that shit. Ah, oh, there right. we go. Now, we want to come in at a nice, shallow... Angle. That dashes us into the um, into the atmosphere at many thousands of kilometers a second. No, we want to be coming in around about forty-five. I think. Where's where, where did this number come from? I just made it up. Do you want me to go in at fifty? Go at, well. I'd say go in at fifty, and we want to um, we want to use whatever. Fuel bits of what fuel left. Slow ourselves down as we get yeah, closer to approach. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable about this re-entry. Okay, I'll go in at 60, and then as we get closer, I'll kill off. Um, um, I, I don't know how you manage it, but every time I try, even from a high curb in orbit, to bring them back, I think I've succeeded in doing it twice. Because they always end up cooking on the way back. You see, I can't say I've ever had uh, much problems. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, it could have been because this was initially most of my play was just after it came out before the first patch hit, and maybe they changed around some of the re-entry stuff in the e first patch. Even before the first patch, I was never having real problems with re-entry. Getting into orbit, that was the hard bit. Mm. Getting back seemed fine. Um, the the smaller blader plate seems fine for Minmus and Mun encounters to me. It's only when you're coming in sort of extra like extra area. system, extra planetary, yeah. That I think you need the bigger ones or to, to really start seriously considering hard aero braking. I think it's just it's it's about where you're coming down in the atmosphere, I suppose. But um I it's it's all about getting the angle right for how steep or how shallow you're coming in and how long you're burning in the atmosphere to cut your speed. Right, let's cancel that manoeuvre node because I want to see in real terms where we are. Right. And bring it in nice and slowly. Right. Doing it by hand. That's another yeah, yeah, one of my expressions. That's, that's good. No! There we go, that's fine. So what I'll do is I'll bring us pretty close to the planet and then I'll I'll do a retro burn to slow us down even more. Aye. I mean we will be we'll be doing some some speed when we get there. Oh, like. we're gonna be flying. We're gonna be flying this. And it'll be interesting to see how this longer design holds up, particularly on landing. Yeah. Because it is gonna tip over. My only I'm not too concerned about the crew hatches, they should be fine. I'm concerned that the science junior might explode. And if it does, that's a significant loss. That's but but sixty odd signs. But we've brought Penny back, and we've made about a sixty grand profit. Look at that little low little craft spinning its way around Kerbin. That's amazing. Yeah, we can blow that up when we get back. Yeah, because it's done now. And we can see uh, Wendy going around there, around the moon. <laughs> there we are. Everybody's just having a. It's not around the moon. On the on the moon. Thanks. Uh, oh, we're getting a bit. Smash. Whoa, yeah, bugger. That was uh, a bit close. I know it was probably you know a good many 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 miles off, but ready to get in. Come in, dark side. Well, there's very little we can do about that. You want to basically wait until we're just above the atmosphere and then start your burn. Because if we do the burn out here, we'll then that just there, pick speed back up, falling back down towards the planet. That there, as we cross that path, is about 70,000. Right. 
So because yeah. Pen, um, Penny's craft was over and just above seventy thousand. So point point what ask first. Probably yep. worth doing that. Now ish. Yeah, like right now. Because we are now in, in the atmosphere. Yeah. I think the retro, uh, it's harder to tell these days. The little cross that goes through yeah, it seems yeah. to be a lot more transparent. It used to be a lot more opaque. So we're cutting down a little bit of speed, but... Yeah, we are coming in hot, like. This is going to be... Ah, oh, toasty warm. Toasty warm re-entry. Well, yeah. it's fine. We've got two trained pilots operating the controls. Right, we might as well ditch that. So, you know, I mean, we've bled off maybe over 300 metres per second there in speed, but this is still a sharp... Uh... It's okay, we've got a lot of electrocharge as well, so I can bring in the pilot's help in holding the pro-grade once... Uh, uh, re once it's stuck. No, sorry, hold... Yeah. Don't, don't hold, hold the pro-grade. Pro don't hold pro-grade. I think she should um, revolt, I think. Um... My only concern now <laughs> is not so much that we burn up on re-entry, but it's that the parachutes burn up on re-entry. Yeah, that would be bad. That's my only worry. That would be bad. And then we'd lose Penny and Valentina. However, the episode title remains valid. <laughs> Penny Creon you sure? goes to Minmus. Every time you tap, it's probably echoing the microphone. Thus, get off. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit the microphone. You'll piss off Kirby. How would you feel if Kirby says, you know what, I'm sick of you, and then he's off? Devastated. It, it breaks my heart just thinking about it. Exactly. Reaction. I want to bring Kirby in to do a recording with him one day. That would yeah. be really cool. We'll get Kirby in. I know, uh, Ringo, I, Ringo was up for it. Ringo can come too. Ringo, I'd be more than happy. I haven't seen Ringo uh, in, it must be two years. Aye, it was before we started the channel. Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. Busy working very hard on their projects on board with the rest of the crew, I believe. Aye, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we'll oh, hang on. What's, what's with the camera? Oh, I've accidentally set the parachutes off. Oh, that's not good. What do you mean? I've accidentally set the parachutes off. When oh, I was, well, this. When I was... Trying to change camera. Um, that wasn't good either. What are you doing? Oh, I was trying to change the uh, the camera type, and I accidentally pressed space. Have you told Penny to hold off. her ass to the heat? <laughs> I've, actually, I've gone to. I've accidentally set the parachute off. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> the parachutes are gonna come out. Look at the heat. Hold retrograde. Hold. <laughs> hold. Oh, the speed. Those parachutes are going to pop off. But this Penny Creon went to Minmus. If I try to transmit as well, the communitron's just going to come yeah, off. Yeah, that, that, we're, we're committed now, mate. Oh, just Valentina, us. Penny. No, don't. Don't leave us. There's the parachute. No, they haven't deployed yet. They haven't deployed yet. We might actually end up doing another pass. No, no, it's really started to drain off now. Aye. Yeah, we're in. Yeah, we're, we're in and we're going in. I thought we might shoot around there. I was How's the ablator looking? It's, ju it's just touched, it's just ticking off. This, this is a really efficient uh, re entry, actually. Of, of sorts. No, it is. It's a really, really good atmospheric burn to try and slow us down. We're losing a lot of the heat, uh, a lot of the speed, rather. Not Nothing's given me any kind of temperature warnings, uh, which is good. Not yet. I mean, those are nice and tucked in. Those ones are going to burn. Aye. Uh, but when when they deploy, if they deploy before we've killed off a lot of this heat, I am very very worried. Aye. Uh, and if we've got if we've got too much speed when they deploy, it's going to tear the craft apart. Remember Aye. what happened to Jeb in a, in one of our previous series. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm kind of nervous. And I've one bloody tap of the space bar button. It's always what does it. Yeah, panic tapping. I meant to press V. I meant to press V for the camera control, no, and my finger in. was just at the wrong point. We're twenty-seven thousand meters. I can see mountainy stuff behind me. Yeah, I can see mountains. It's never a good sign. The parachutes are going to deploy when we hit about twenty-five thousand, I think. And that heat. Yeah. And that speed. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. <sighs> drogue shoots. <laughs> Drog shoots. Why don't we where, have drogue where shoots? Where the hell would we put one on the front of this? Oh, well, we, right? we could change the model, you know. We're not limited to, to just this ship design. Mm. At least they're both happy. Should I do no, an EVA report? Don't you dare. Don't even hover over that button after you... Can I do a temperature report? Hot. Too hot, as the thermometer says. Right. Less faffing, more... 285 degrees Celsius. Is that Celsius or is it Fahrenheit? It'll be uh, Celsius, I'd imagine. 
that's uh, quite hot. That's quite hot. Like I wouldn't get we're, in the bath. We're that slowing temperature. very quick now. We're in the soupy uh, parts of the atmosphere. Aye, Parachutes right. still haven't popped out. Ablators looking all right. We're down to less than forty percent on electricity. Ablators nearly twenty five. Yeah, it does down. drain the electricity when the kerbals are holding it rather than. Hey, you. I'd, this thing's so quite long. I'm quite happy for them to do it. Really, shoot destroyed the, by air all forces. Of, all of the shoots are gone. All of them. All of them. All of the shoots are gone. It wasn't the heat. It was ah. Uh, the I'm fact that they were popped. I'm really sorry about this, mate. That's an absolute disaster. After all this, one, one little tap of the space bar button. Sorry, Valentina. Sorry, Penny. I cannot believe that. I thought they might have just survived it. Shit. If only we had some wheels to land on. Uh, if only we had anything to land on. I'm just going to have to try and land it arse first and hope that one of the capsules survives, but it won't. We're going to be coming in far too fast. Um, trans Transmit all. Do you reckon? Dead men switch. We'll get as much of the science back as we can. Not enough electric charge. Not enough charge. electric charge. Stop um, transmitting. Abort. We we'll sent a tiny amount of stuff back. Out of electric charge. It's with Penny trying to hold it. Dead craft coming in pretty fast and it's going to belly as well it's not even going to like yeah it's not even going to land on the um, on the science parts and hopefully break the fall a bit these things have no you know, at the moment of impact at the moment of impact what penny go on penny get ready um, well I think the outcome says it all yes the outcome says it all that was gone really, 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 really well. It like was the best thing. I wouldn't care, time. and it it was it wasn't even. Uh, it was just my finger in the wrong place when one, I went to press that V button. One thing I should point out here: this wasn't Ewok throwing a mission for comedy's value. I went. The camera was spinning around. I went to press the V button to get the camera into a different mode, so I could free rotate V button directly above the space bar on the keyboard. One little slip of the finger. Well, that's how it goes. Um, we don't revert. We don't. We don't pull back. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to live with it. Valentina, I am sorry. Valentina and Penny at least got to saw Minmus. They did. And then they got to saw. They got to see Kerbin very close up, very quickly. They did. And uh, I mean. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a setback for Jory Space Pro. A bit of a setback. Uh, on the plus side, uh, we ninety signs. What can we buy to cheer ourselves up? I don't think we can afford anything. Of course, Actually, we, can. we might be able to afford the the aviation part. We're not going to afford some of these bits. Oh, let's have a look. See what we've got. Nah, we've got the small propulsion systems, tri stacks, better things. A tri stacks could be useful. For some of the old designs, we used them quite a bit. Aerodynamics and fairings. I do quite like a fairing. Fairings would be useful. Um, RCS. Oh, I'm torn between RCS and Farron. Um, I'd be tempted. I'd be tempted to say um, the Farrens and we'll, we could do another Minmus flyby, and this time try and get the low Minmus orbit, and get the sort of three, four hundred signs mark from that. Um, <laughs> do you reckon? I mean, RCS would be really handy, although RCS is only handy when we come to do the landings. And as as much as I'd like to go and say let's do a landing, I think we're a little bit off that yet. The other thing is, it would be nice to show off the fairings because I've been banging on about them for six yeah, episodes. And, and they are new. There we go. We've got the fairings. Well, Penny, Valentina, you won't be forgotten. Your sacrifice hasn't been in vain. Look at our lovely new fairings. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode of Jordy Space Program. Goodbye. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye.